sa Ginoo and with our with God's children joining us worshiping with us online. Good evening sa tanan and before we start praising and worshiping the Lord, pwede ba nato i-greet ang ato ang mga igsuon left and right, say hi and welcome. Amen. Although we are socially distant sa atong mga seats but we are united in the love of God. Amen. Can I hear hallelujah from the worshipers? Hallelujah. Kanang mas kusog? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bago ta magsugod, gusto na ako dasigon ang tanan nga ang atong pagday ug pagsimba isa ni sa isa ni kalakang sa atong kadaugan, atubangan sa Ginoo. So kinsa na ang anda mahimong madaugon karon? Amen. Ala gamay lang. Say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's all stand. Let's worship our God. May saya, may tuwa sa piling ng Diyos Sapagkat hirap na puso ay naglalaho May awi, may saya, at papuri para sa Diyos Na hati ng puso, pinapala niya Faithful God, you are Jehovah Jireh, you are our healer, your provider, you are still faithful, oh God, even in the midst of pandemic, Lord, you are still faithful, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for your goodness, oh God. Tapat ka nagmamahal sa amin, oh Dios. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your love. We worship you, Lord, through this next song, oh God. Let's sing this song, Katapatan Mo, Dios. Katapatan Mo, Dios, tunay at dakila. Ang pag-ibig mo'y wag 
wagas at walang kapantay sa aking puso sa aking buhay papurit pagsambay iaalay bukas noon ngayon magpakailanman luwa At walang kapantay as Lord Sa aking puso Sa aming buhay Papurit pa sambay Iaalay Bukas noon ngayon Magpakailan Kanimo, O Diyos, sinintak na sa kagabihiyon, nagapaubos kami sa mong kaugalingon, O God. Giilan na mo, ginoo, nga wala kami mahimo kung wala ikaw, O Lord. Busa, Lord, sinintak na sa kapunon, O Lord. Ginadala na mo, Lord, ang among mga prayer concern, karong adlaw, O God. Lord, among bidala sa pag-ampo diya, kanimo, ginoo, ang Tagum City, O God. Lord, among ginahangyo, Lord, calmness of the people, O God, as the government will implement the MECQ and the people will apply self-discipline. Continuous protection for all the people in the city and the nearby provinces for the infection of COVID-19. 
the city government, even the private sectors, will initiate move to provide food for the people due to shortage because of implementation of MECQ in our city and province. Ingun man, Lord, ang nasud sa Pilipinas, O God, wisdom for economic experts in the government to lay down plans and ideas for the past recovery, the economy in our country, Pre preparation of the community for the coming national election to prevent cheating of votes. God will raise leaders in our country that are from his heart. Righteous leaders will reign. Evil leaders will be rejected. Protection for all politicians from danger, especially the election, is fast approaching. Good health and wisdom for our president and his cabinet in leading our country. Lord, we pray also, O oh God, the end of pandemic crisis. May the government will continue to be more focused on the pandemic problem that the country is facing. May all people will be open-minded or positive in mind on their willingness to be vaccinated and the value and importance of vaccination. The manufacturing country will continue fastly in the supplying of vaccine for our country. Wisdom for the health organization with the Department of Health, especially in the, on the issue of the Delta variant that entering in our country. Lord, kami nagahangyo kanimo ginoo. Bisan paman kaning issue sa variant, oh God. Most of us, Lord, nibati na og kahadlok. Apa nasayod kami, Lord, ka ikaw ang Dios nga dili nagahadla ka na mong kabalaka. O kahadlok, oh God. Busa, Lord, among kinahangyo kanimo, Lord. Cover us with your precious blood, ginoo. Mas labaw kang dako, ginoo, kaysa aning cover. COVID, oh God, ingon man ang kaning Delta, oh God. Ug amok kining kinarebyo Ginoo, nga dili gyud kini makadaaw duol dili nga dapit, oh God. Bisan pa man ing tagong Lord God, cover ang matag usa ni ini nga virus, oh Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, ingon man Lord ang church leaders, religious organization and denomination, doctrinal stand and all the denomination will to continue to focus on Christ Jesus. The rock for a strong foundation of faith, especially in these last days. Ministers will be provided with wisdom and anointing as they do their ecclesiastical duties with firmness, protection, boldness, and good health for foreign and local missionaries. Lord, ingun man, Lord, among pray and Church of the Foursquare Gospel in the Philippines. Success for the second round of MDP virtual seminar for our supervisor nationwide ministers development program is scheduled on August 18 and 19. Internet connection will be stable. Wisdom for the national leaders to decide on matters, especially during their meeting on July 26 and 27 this year. A spiritual and financial stability of all churches nationwide and for survival in the ministry. A stability for also for of the leaders from national district division, especially in the local churches. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And lastly, Lord, among ginala sa mga pag-ampo, ginoo, ang Living Temple for Square Gospel Church. Plan of the CGP Church Goat Program for the distribution of God's food box para sa mga care centers, O God, as our way to reconnect with them, O Lord. Ingon man, Lord, ang ongoing and upcoming activities, ginoo, ang among prayer force, ginoo, nga nagapadayon, nga gisugdan last June, nga mag-culminate karong 11, O God. Salamat, ginoo, nga madasigon gihapon, ang mga officials nga magapadayon, ani nga mapapagampo, O God. Ingon man, Lord, ang among uh, upcoming uh, prayer and fasting this coming July 26 to 31, O God, nga departmental. Salamat, ginoo, sa mga abis availability sa mga tagod department ginoo gikan sa UFM UFW FY music department oh god ang mga staff ang mga kutitap ug uban mga mga miyembro ginoo nga mo appeal gayud sila ani nga prayer and fasting oh god kay nasayod kami ginoo nga maulamang kini makapaligon sa matag usa ka namo oh god lord we pray also oh god sa city tago ministerial fellowship ang ilang nga maabot na meeting karong August 9 oh god thank you ginoo nga ikaw magapadayon nga maga strengthen ginoo sa imong mga magbubuhat thank you lord god sa heavenly wisdom that comes from you ginoo nga kung unsa man ang ilahang agenda ni anak nga meeting lord Ikaw lang gayud ang matuboy, ikaw lang gayud ang mahimaya ug ang matag desisyon Ginoo, mahimong gikan gayud diha kanimo O God. Salamat Ginoo sa presiding officer ni Ana O God. 
nga tagaan gayud nimo siya og uh, heavenly wisdom that comes from you. Ingon man Lord ang amo ang blood letting this coming August 13. Thank you God sa dagang mga blood donors Ginoo nga magparticipate. Thank you Lord God nga ikaw sa mga bless sa matag doctor Ginoo. Ingon man Lord sa mga magwork ni ani nga blood letting oh God. Salamat Lord nga imo kining kuralon sa imong nilibuan ka mga anghel nga wala gyud ni isa Ginoo nga magdala og covid Ginoo. Walay virus nga makasulod ana ka panahon na oh God. Lord, lastly, bisan pa man ang among umaabot ng anniversary this coming August 15, oh God. Amo kani itugyan daan diha kanimo Ginoo ang among mga plano, ang among mga programs, ang among mga presentation ingon man sa amo ang mamumulong anak nga adlaw oh God. Salamat kaayo Ginoo sa among maabot ng anniversary nga ikaw lang gyud ang matuboy ug mahimaya. Lord, one mind spirit within the church ministers officers department have staff and members for a strong church that would convince the world to come to jesus and lastly oh god ingon man lord ang aged members and children who cannot come to the church that they will continue to grow in the knowledge of god as they join in online service oh god hallelujah hallelujah lord jesus Lord, salamat kaayo nga kini among mga concern Ginoo nga among gisang adya kanimo ikaw na ang nagatubag ni ani ikaw na ang naga-answer ni ini oh God ug salamat kay Ginoo nga ikaw ra gyud ang matuboy sa among taliwala kalon dalay gun ka Ginoo sa walay tapusan dalay gun ka sa imong pagka Dios hallelujah hallelujah we give you back all the glory honor and praises hallelujah hallelujah sit down with the presence of God. Mayong gabi sa tanan. Uh, dili mga kumplito ang atong uh, panimbahon kung wala ang paghatag sa atong ikapulo o uh, offering. Busay ni gabi on. Uh, <clears throat> manindog ta alang sa pagampo. Balaan og mahigugmao na mga Diyos, naghain kang salamat gino, nga niya nausap kami gino, magapadayon gino sa paghatag, pagdala sa mong ikapulo, o uh, halad gino, diha kanimo mo gino. Amo kining ibalik, diha kanimo mo Lord, tungod kay imo kini ang tanan gino. Busa kami, ang ngayon lang kami, magapasalamat diha kanimo sa tanan ng grasya, imong gihatag gino. O ikaw Diyos, magapanalangin, ini nga salapi Lord, nga gihatag sa imong katawahan, Panalangini kini ginoo, magamit kini sa imong uh, pag-expand sa imong kingdom ginoo. Dalay ni ikaw, Lord, so walay katapusan. In Jesus' name, Amen.
Amen. Mayroon ka sa tanan. Hallelujah. Are we excited na nakaabot ta karon sa tong panibahon kay gabi? Amen. Hallelujah. Shall we give a lot of praise to Jesus? It is a wonderful time once again to hear the word of God. Hallelujah. Tonight, it is a privilege for me to share to you the word of God. And I am tasked to share his words to you all. Hallelujah. Let's bow our heads together. Father, thank you, Jesus, for your words tonight that will be implemented to our hearts and minds. Thank you, Lord, sa panalangin, O God, na mong ibubuo lang ka namo. And thank you, Jesus, for everything that you're going to do, O God, for us tonight. The transformation of our hearts and minds, Lord, will be upon us for we have the Holy Spirit in our midst tonight. For you said in your words that two or three are gathered in your name, you will be in their midst. So right now, Lord, we just declare that you are in our midst. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, hallelujah. So tonight, I am going to share to you the word of God entitled, Worship and Prayer as a Weapon. Now, we know the story that we have uh, last few weeks ago. Nag-share na to about the story of Paul and Silas. So tonight, I'm going to share to you their uh, history or the things that they have done or nahitabo sa ilang kinabuhi. Found in Acts chapter 16, verses 16 to 34. So we are going to on that passages. And first, is a time that when Paul and Silas... Uh, went on to a ministry in a place. And then, let's read Acts chapter 16, verses 19 to, uh, 16 to 24. It says, it says, Once there was there, once when we were going to the place of prayer, we were met by a female slave who had a spirit by which she predicted the future. She learned a great deal of money for her own owners by fortune-telling. She followed Paul and the rest of us shouting, These men are servants of the Most High God who are telling you the way to be served. She kept this up for many days. Finally, Paul becomes so annoyed that he turned around and said to the Spirit, In the name of Jesus Christ, I commanded you to come out to her. And that moment, the Spirit left her. When her owners realized that their hope of making money was gone, they seized Paul and Silas and dragged them into the marketplace to face the authorities. They brought them before the magistrates and said, These men are Jews and are throwing our city into an uproar by advocating customs unlawful for us Romans to accept or practice. The crowd joined the, tra the attack against Paul and Silas. The magistrates ordered them to be stripped and beaten with rods. After they had severely flogged, they were thrown into prison, and the jailer was commanded to guard them carefully. When he received these orders, he put them in the inner cell and fastened their feet in their stocks. In the stocks. Hallelujah. Well, how are we today? Are we feeling rough? Kung pag abot ato dili sa church, na batay gina agian na mga mga kasinatian, no, mga problema. But, we are going to, sa atong pag-read, o sa atong pag-sabot sa story ni Paul and Silas, Paul and Silas are doing the work of the Lord, but still end up in prison. Wow. You see, most of us, most of us, are having bad time because of what we are doing. Most of our problems have something to do with us. For example, ikaw, high blood, tungon na po na sa iyong ginakaon. Or, inherited sa iyong ginikanan. Or naturally, na nahitabo sa iyong kinabuhi. So meaning, naagya po yung action ang iyong lawas or ang action ng lawas sa iyong ginikanan. Tama? Kasi, ang situation na nahitabo kay Paul and Silas, they are just doing the word of God or the work of God that they have intended for them, but still end up in prison. You see, 
there, are, there comes to a point wherein almost all of our problems are really our fault. At least we are responsible because of our actions. Amen? And because... Of the things na naitabo sa itong kinabuhi. Right. But what did Paul and Silas do to be in that situation? Wala. Nothing. Amen? This passage of scripture wakes us up to the fact that God is showing us that we can be following Jesus wholeheartedly, but still end up in a situation, in a horrible place, we, where we can be doing everything right and still end up in a mess. Di ba? Naabot dito sa point na yung anak po ang naitabo sa itong kinabuhi. Some of our Christian friends believe that if they're doing the things right, after they accepted Jesus Christ, some of Our Christian friends, I know that this is not part of naasa to karon na belief. Good things will begin to happen if you will receive Jesus. It's true at some point, but not all time. Because His thoughts are not our thoughts and His ways are not our ways. Amen? It is found in Isaiah chapter 55, verse 8. This is what they call the prosperity gospel. If you accepted Jesus Christ and you will become prosperous, you will have the blessing. Amen. But, sa situation na naitabo sa kinabuhi ni Paul and Silas, it, it is really a contradict to the things na ilang ginasulti about prosperity gospel. It is the plan of God that they will be in that situation. Because of their suffering, the suffering of Paul and Silas na ay naitabo nga ma- na milagro sa ilang kinabuhi to that situation. Now, if you can see na imuha uh, sa akong pagbasa aning uh, spaces of scripture, nakainan din ko nga, praise the Lord, kaya wala din ko ni undergo yung nanin nga trial in my life. Because you see, in everything that he, that Paul did to the Lord Jesus Christ, It is said in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 24 to 27, and I quote, Five times I received from the Jews the 40 lashes minus one. Ano 40 lashes minus one? After 40, mamatay na isa katao. Dahil niya madawat ang 41 lashes. So 40 minus one. Three times I was beaten with rods. Once I was pelted with stones. Three times I was shipwrecked. I spent a night and a day in the open sea. I have been constantly on the move. I have been in danger from rivers, in danger from bandits, in danger from my fellow Jews, in danger from Gentiles, in danger in the city, in danger in the country, in danger at sea, and in danger from false believers. I have labored and toiled and have often gone without sleep I have known hunger and thirst and have often gone without food. I have been cold and naked. Oh, Lord. Grabe ang pag-antos ni Paul to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. So, sa situation na to, wala lang yun tayo kuminking sa nahitabo sa kinabuhi ni Paul. We are still in great shape where we don't suffer Like the martyrs, like Paul and all of the apostles that ended up naked or beaten up or ended their life in a suffering because of sharing the gospel of Jesus. Now remember that in those situations that, that they are in, remember that when we plan something and if it is not God's, then we have a problem. It is also that because there comes a situation in our lives that we are not where we want to be, but we are right where we're supposed to be. 
Di na to, to gituyo ng lugar, pero gituyo to sa ginoo para alang ka na to. And as we read the passages of scriptures in the life of Paul and Silas, let's continue in, chap- in chapter 16, verse 25. About midnight, nana sila sa pisohan, nakulong sila, o nag, uh, their feet, o ang ilang kamot, nagapos. And then it says, about midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the other prisoners were listening to them. Hallelujah. So in times na naatay kasinatian nga grabe sa tong kinabuhi. Walay time, walay right time to worship the Lord. All the time you can spend with God. Itungod gani sa kinabuhi ni Paul ug si Silas, midnight na sila nag nagkantakanta sa Ginoo. Kung sa ato pa nagtawag na tag police. Okay, padakpon na tong kuan. tung nag saba-saba ang silingan but because they are in a situation ang prisoners na sa situation like Paul and Silas na wala sila mabuhat kundi dili maminaw lang jud sa ilaha so they were listening and then when they pray and worship grabe ang naitabo ato nga gabi mostly some are dealing a whole lot less and complaining a whole lot more. I know that the diligent na kauban na to dure. Amen? Hallelujah! Because mostly, some, na sa gawas, are dealing a whole lot less and complaining a whole lot more. We pray, Lord, unta ginoo, karun nga puna, karun nga gabi, Lord, uh, imog ming is, i protect ginoo sa amuang pag uli, karun nga gabi, But in a minutes or paggawas pa lang sa church, in a scenario na scenario ni. Eh. Paggawas pa lang sa church, nabangga diya sa gate. Yeah, we begin to kung sa imo ang normal na ano na pagbati, Lord nga nung gitabo man mo ni. Di wa nagpray man ko nga dapat inani ko pag uli pero nga nung wala man ko giprotektahan. So there is something or naji pangitabo ngayon anak sa tong kinabuhi that we cannot control. That's why some are complaining a lot more. This is one reason why of many reasons that they don't see a miracle happening in our lives. Kana siya ang naghinder or mahimo ng boundary na to na dili na to makita ng milagro sa gido. Why? Because we are caught up in the situation. Ginana lang ang situation. But we are not looking forward kung nga nung naitabo na si Mungkin na buhi. Dili dyan na siya in a snap bitaw nga. Imuang mahuna-unaan na naiplano ang gino nga nung naitabo na nga pangitabo sa kinabuhi. And some, some lang dyan, some are whining more than worshiping. This is one reason, no? Because some are whining more than worshiping. Ang tao na si dangoy-ngoy, whining means dangoy-ngoy. Or dangoy-ngoy na nagbagulbol sa ginoo. Because maybe of a blessing na wala na itabo sa ilang kinabuhi na gusto na dyan nila makuha sa ilang kinabuhi. Whining more than worshiping. Atong pirmihin nun duman mga isoon. That even though life is bad, God is still good. All the time, praise the Lord. Hallelujah for you, brother. God is still good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Hallelujah. So, yung pa sa isa ka, pastor, no one's life has been improved by whining. Wala din ko nakadungog ang testimony sa iyang pagbagulbol na yung imong blessing ang iyang kinabuhi. <laughs> Nagsugod o bagulbol o niya nag, nag end up in a testimony na tungod lagi nagbagulbol ko na itabo ang kinabuhi. <laughs> na itabo ang inani sa ang kinabuhi. Na nakareceive kong blessing. No one. No one. Because you will never hear a testimony started with whining but worship does. Nagsugod 
na ako yung na, 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 natay daghan na dunggan na sa ilang testimony, sa ilang kinabuhi. They were crying to the Lord. Pero not to the point that they are whining. Naadyod sa itong natural born, sa itong naturally, na naadyod tayo mga circumstances that we cannot control. But I know and we know that God is in control. Amen? Hallelujah. You will never, uh, and we are going to read Romans chapter 8, verses 18. It says, the suffering of Paul, I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. Hallelujah. And this passage of scripture just proves that God allows pain to reveal His promise. He allows pain for us to experience para makitaan na to ang promise sa ginoo. And what promises is that He will never leave us nor forsake us. Amen? Who can be against us kung na ang ginoo sa itong kinabuhi? Hallelujah! Whatever you are going through, worship your way out of it. Pray your way out of it. That's why we're here. Amen. Kung ato lang nang ipabilin sa balay ang atong problema, wala dyan tayo mabuhat. Dito lang dyan sa balay. But we want to show it to God. We want it to show it to the Lord. Lord, I want to worship you in spite of this problem. And I will pray my way out of it. Amen. Hallelujah. Sabi ki, balala sa laba, praise to Jesus for that. Hallelujah. And continue. Acts 16 verses 26 said, Suddenly, there was such a violent earthquake that the foundations of the prisons were shaken. At once, all the prison doors flew open and everyone's chain came loose. Hallelujah. So those people who were listening with Paul and Silas na buak po ang ilahang prison doors o nahimo silang free sa ilahang chains. The chains became loose. Dili lang si Paul o si Silas, but all of those prisoners who listened to the singing ni o pray, sa prayer ni Paul o si Silas, everybody's chains came loose. That's why instead of whining, worship your God. For worship is a mighty weapon. It is said in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 to 18, Rejoice always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. This is the true will of God. And thus we will rejoice, we will pray continually, and give thanks in all circumstances. Give thanks in all circumstances. We will pray, and we will praise God through it. Amen. Hallelujah. Just start rejoicing right where you are. For life is not about jumping into situations, but living a life through it. So sometimes, na ato mga decision na nito or mga uh, kasinatian na atong gina undergo or na ato mga decision making na atong gina uh, face and then you jumped into it and then here comes a problem along the way and then you change course. Okay? For you or na ay mga actions na dili ni mo imong gina ignore ang problem so that's why you jump so it is our prayer to tonight and a challenge to all of us that we should not jump into those problems but we will go through those problems with the work of the Lord Jesus Christ amen hallelujah and finally As we continue the last parts, suddenly there was a violent earthquake that the foundations of the prisons were shaken. At all, at once all the prison doors flew open and everyone's chains came loose. 
The jailer woke up, and when he saw the prison doors open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself because he thought the prisoners, the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted, don't harm yourself. We are all here. Wow. So, katong nahitabo, kam Paul and Silas, and even the prisoners, they were broken loose. So, kita, naturally, Christians, yung, sa imo ang, uh, sa ito ang nat- natural na action, ato ay yung igrabang blessing, di ba? Na, 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 bye, bye-bye. <laughs> Lakaw na ko. <laughs> Tama na. Naka, na. It means you are free. It is the work of God. Na you are free and then you run. Oh, nanay opportunity to run. But they stayed. There is a reason why they stayed. The jailer called for lights, rush in, fell trembling before Paul and Silas. And then brought them out and asked, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? So, kanisha, ang jailer na mismo, aningon sa ila, and then she bowed down, unsa daw ang iyang buhaton para siya maluwas. And then the story ended up that the jailer brought them into the house and set a meal before them. He was filled with joy because he had come to believe in God. And his whole household. Praise the Lord for that. Kung ila tong gikagat nga blessing that they are free from the prison, ila na tong grab ang opportunity to run because they are free, then there will be no jailer, wala yang pamilya that will be saved. Hallelujah. So most of us, most of us Christians will dive right into that blessing. We are free, right? After we lose our chains, we break loose. But for Paul and Silas and everybody in the prison, the rest of the prisoners, they stayed. They stayed because Paul and Silas knew it's not the right time to do it. They lived their life through it. Then they became a witness to the jailer and the rest of his whole household. Praise the Lord. They stayed because they knew that their blessing is for them, but not just about them, but to those people around them. Paul and Silas were blessed to be a blessing. They were saved to bring salvation, and they were freed to bring freedom. Hallelujah. Next slide, please. Paul and Silas were blessed to be a blessing. They were saved to bring salvation and they were freed to bring freedom. Praise God for the life of Paul and Silas, brothers and sisters in Christ. A great testimony that they are using worship and prayer as their weapon to victory, not just for them but for others as well. Amen? Hallelujah. So tonight in our prayer life, Are we asking God to get us out of a situation that we are in? Or are we inviting Him to intervene into our situation? Instead of getting out of it, invite Him in. Invite Him in. And Lord, we don't have nami mga kasinatian that we cannot control. And I want you, O oh Lord, to move in my life that I can get through this. So when we choose to pray, we choose to worship God. Amen? Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus, for your words. Thank you, Lord, for whatever situations that we are in right now, Father. We know, O oh Lord, that you are in control. Just like the life of Paul and Silas, Lord, na wala sila ni kagat you know, sa blessing na imong yata ka lang kanina. But that blessing, Lord, is not just for them, but for others, O oh God. And Lord, tonight, whatever is a situation that we are in, 
We know, O oh God, that you are in control. We know, O oh Lord, and may this, O oh God, be a blessing, O oh God, for us, for others, Lord, na ilang makitaan ginoo kung kinsa ka nga ginoo sa mong kinabuhi. Father, use us, Lord, tonight. Thank you, Jesus, for your words, O oh God. And right now, Lord, we just want to offer our lives to you. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. Hallelujah. I request you to please stand. Let's sing that's uh, katong kanta na to galina uh, before this, uh, the prayer ended. And may this our prayer tonight that we will worship the Lord and we will praise the Lord to the problems that we are in. We don't know or I don't know what is your problem but I know the Lord knows it. Tonight, for a long time, we want to worship the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ikaw lamang ang tangi ko sa sambahi. Aawitan kita. the reason, Father, why we're here, and that is to lift your name up high, O oh God. We are enjoying ourselves, Lord, because we know that you are our portion. You are part of our lives, Father. So this prayer meeting, O oh God, that we do every Wednesday, we know, O oh Lord, that it is part of our lives. For we know, O oh God, that you are doing something, O oh God, in us. 
So make this, Lord, prayers of our lives to become a weapon, O God, in hindering and boundaring every works of the enemies in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. There will be no works of the enemy that will prosper, Lord. For we know, O God, that there is power. There is a power in, web, in prayer, O God. And we will use this, O God, as a weapon and a declaration, O God, that we are your children. You are our, our commanding chief. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. We know, O Lord, that all the things that happen in our lives has a purpose. And I pray, O God, that you will show us, Lord, the way through it. For we worship you in spirit and in truth. And praise you, Lord, for everything that you have done to our lives. And everybody say, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Shall we give a loud us up a praise to the Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise, praise God. Maya Gabi. Uh, salamat sa oge sa pagdasig sa pulong sa Dios. Karon, uh, diretso tayo sa mga pagampo na ba'y online nga prayer request. Okay. So we have here the online and on-site. Online and on-site, di ba? Dala na tanan. So, atong dala o nga to sa tilan sa Diyos mga pagampo. Um, I'd like to ask this uh, area here to pray for set A. Kanya, kaning two rows din he. Apil sa likod, apil midiri sa taas. Dirimi sa set B. Okay? So, kamong two rows din ha. Set A. Kanya, kabit, kaning two rows din he. Apil midiri sa taas. Dirimi sa uh, set B. Okay? Praise God. Can we just sing that song, song, I know the Lord will answer our prayers. Ask anything in my name and it shall be done unto you. Okay? When we ask, the Lord is going to answer our prayers. But for sure, God will answer our prayers. Amen? Praise the Lord. Okay? The Lord will answer all my prayer. I know the Lord will answer all my prayers. And if I If you know the song in Bisayan, Ako na sa yun nga ang Diyos magatubag, magatubag. Ako na sa yun. Ako na sa yun nga ang Diyos magatubag. Kung
us, Lord. We believe, Lord, in you. Praise God. Let's start praying now. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Let's all stand. Magatindog kita. Pagpasalamat, pagdaig na ito sa Diyos, sa kaayuan, sa mga balatian, sa katubagan, sa mga pag-ampo, pag-supply, sa mga pagkinahanglan, sa mga anak sa Diyos. Huwag ang tanan nga atong gidala sa mga pag-ampo karon, gabi e, atong i-claim padayon nga ang Diyos magatubag ni ini. Hallelujah. Give thanks with a grateful heart to the Lord. Oh, give thanks. With a grateful heart, give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because it's given Jesus Christ. Is that give thanks?
mouth, just open your mouth and say, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Lord, for the answer of our prayers. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We have faith in you, Lord. We have faith in you. We trust in you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Salamat, Lord, sa katubagan sa mga pagkampo. Huwag salamat, Ginoo, sa mga makatauhan. Ngami ani din ni karong gabi eh. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ for your special favor, Lord, be given to each one. In the name of Jesus, Dawata Ikson, Dawata, I speak blessing. A special favor for you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, there is power when we declare. There is power in your name. Thank you, Lord God. Even for those who join with us, oh, the same Lord God favor in Mungihata Gusab Ngan Tukanila. We are so thankful, God, for the ministry, Lord, of your words. And Lord, we just believe in you. When we worship you, Lord, and when we pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the victory. Hallelujah. God, I pray for your protection, Lord, for your troubling mercy, O oh Lord, that everyone, Lord, will arrive, Lord, their destination, Lord, safe and sound, in the name of Jesus, and everyone will be kept into the hollow of, of the, will be kept into the hollow of the hands of the Lord, always protected. Thank you so much, Father God, for that. Thank you, Lord. Salamat kayo sa mga pagpanalangin sa matagusa, and let the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will always guard our hearts and minds in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and people of God would say Amen. Amen. Salamat Lord. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Thank you so much for joining with us. God bless us all.